is really hurting. Why? Because the county government has taken the blow and taken the cuts over the last couple of years and allowed the constitutional officers to continue to rise with their budgets. The problem is the citizens hold the county commissioners accountable for their taxpayer dollars. The citizens hold us accountable to ensuring that the dollars are maximized to the best public use, which means your roads, your bridges, all the other things that really matter. So I, I just want to put this out here because you're going to be seeing it in the news in the up in coming days. And do, do not be afraid of what you might hear come out of my mouth because, you know, you know, I'm very straightforward. We have a lot of industrial parks, but we don't have any businesses in them. We fund them. I, I mean, this is just the honest truth. I'm not going to waste any more time. If you want to talk to me afterwards, I'll gladly talk with you. But please, please. Start thinking about the greater good for the community. That's all I have. Thank you, DeMarcus. We, we appreciate enormously that you are always willing to speak your mind and to bring uh, items to people's attention. So thank you. Is there anybody else got something to say? Jim Parker. Okay. Um, yeah, I've missed the last couple of months' meetings because I was attending the Valdosta City's uh, Government 101 classes. And uh, over the uh, six weeks of the class, uh, visited different departments and, and learned about them in a little lot more detail. And it was a fantastic experience. And I hope if you've never uh, participated in it, uh, it is well worth the effort. It don't cost you nothing, and they feed you every night. <laughs> And uh, that you go. So that was a nice perk. Uh, but um, it was really, really interesting. Now, this was for the city of Valdosta. It, ain't, it isn't the county. And I don't know if the county has something, but you know what? It'd be really good for them if they did. I think it'd really be good for the citizens. And I want to encourage anyone uh, to participate next year in the program because, seriously, it's it's... It can be really eye-opening. And uh, one of the things that I got to say about the city of Valdosta and the administration, um, they do a darn good job with what they have to work with. You got some really good people in some, you know, in the important positions. And uh, they, they, they think they're very efficient in what they do. And I think, and in my opinion, um, Believe me, when it comes to finances and revenues in the government, everything has been pared to the bone for a very long time. And they can use more revenue, believe me, to do what, what needs to get done. But I, I do have to say that I gained a, a, a great respect for a lot of people in what they do in the city. And I hope uh, and encourage everyone to participate in this and when you get a chance, because it, it's, it's, it's really well worth it. And um, because really, as citizens, our democracy, I like to say democracy in, in how we do things, it's a participatory sport. It isn't a spectator sport. <laughs> it's participatory. And the more you participate, the more you can have influence and effect on what goes on. Thanks. You want to go? Okay, John Quarterman. Three minutes. I think when the city changed the rules so that people outside the city could apply to be on boards, they also changed the rules so that anyone anywhere in the county can apply to be on that uh, local government 101 course. Or maybe the county will decide to do something so people don't have to apply to the city. Anyway. A couple of weeks ago, I thanked Georgia Power CEO Paul Bowers. If you know me, you may find that very strange. But what I thanked him for was for Georgia Power funding the strategic plan study that the industrial authority did. And I told him the reason I thanked him is one of the things that they discovered that was there were two things that businesses and employees and education throughout this region, this metropolitan region, 
want that they don't really get now. One is fast, affordable internet access everywhere for jobs, for education, for everything else. The other is solar power, which, by the way, 91% of the American people want more solar power, and two-thirds of the American people want government to help it happen. So those are two things that, um, well, the Industrial Authority also had a, a meeting a few months ago at which Bill Slaughter, the county chairman, was present, and he said that internet access was one of his number one priorities. Shortly after that, I'm at the county retreat, he volunteered once again that internet access was one of his number one priorities. Yet I have not heard anything at any county commission meeting since then about internet access, nor to be fair, have I heard of anything being said at any Valdosta city council meeting. So I'm wondering, for example, on this laws that we're being asked to vote on, what will be in there for internet access, and I'm not, I'm not trying to put DeMarcus on the spot. I know he probably can't answer this right now. I'm just raising the question. Thank you. Anyone else have something important that they'd like to tell us? I really appreciate your patience. A very long evening. Our speakers have all stayed so that you can huddle around and ask them questions. Dr. Allen. Yay, it's great to be a Democrat. I, I'm excited about being a Democrat because we're about what's good for all people. What's good for our environment? What's good for our kids? What's good for education? Um, so it's a great day to be a Democrat. We have a great party in our county. I'm happy to see you all. Um, we have a variety of old and young and white and black, and I, if I could be purple, I would. So thank you very much for coming. I will see you at the barbecue July the 2nd. Please fill in a form, write your check, and get some tickets. Thank you.